Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde, also called Cape Verde, country comprising a group of islands that lie 385 miles 620 kilometers off the west coast of Africa. Praia, on Santiago, is the capital. Cabo Verde is named for the westernmost Cape of Africa, Cape Verde French, Cap Vert, which is located in nearby Senegal, and is the nearest point on the continent. The largest port in the islands is located at Mindelo, on Sao Vicente. Its deep water harbor accommodates sizable vessels and has been used as a fueling station since the 19th century. Cabo Verde consists of nine inhabited islands, one uninhabited island, and various islets, located between 14 degrees 30 and 17 degrees 30 n and between 22 degrees 30 and 25 degrees 30 w. The archipelago is divided into the Barlavento Windward, group to the north and the Sotavento Leeward, group to the south. The Barlavento Islands include Santo Antao, Sao Vicente, Santa Luzia which is uninhabited, Sao Nicolau, Sal, and Boa Vista, together with the islets of Rosso and Branco. The Sotavento Islands include Mayo, Santiago, Fogo, and Brava and the three islets called the Rombos Grand, Luis Carnero, and Chima. The terrain of the Cabo Verde Islands varies from the geologically older, flatter islands in the east and the newer, more mountainous islands in the west. The eastern islands of Boa Vista, Mayo, and Sal, for example, have been heavily eroded by the wind over time and are very sandy and flat. The others are very rocky, jagged, and mountainous. Fogo Fire, Island's active volcano, Pico, rises 9,281 feet 2,829 meters and is the highest point of the archipelago. On the northern island of Santo Antal, Tope de Coroa reaches 6,493 feet 1,979 meters. There are few permanent watercourses in the islands, which generally suffer from seasonal rains, cyclical drought, and chronic water shortages. When precipitation does occur, it is often in the form of torrential downpours that cause significant damage through water erosion, flooding, and the destruction of containment dams. Cabo Verde's soils, primarily volcanic or igneous in origin, are generally shallow, coarse, and rocky. Almost a quarter of the land area is rock of volcanic origin. Basalt is a common type. More than three-fifths of the land is arid and lacking in humus and thus is suitable only for rough grazing, sand and limestone outcrops are common in these areas. Only a fraction of the total area has proper humus and sufficient water supplies for significant irrigation agriculture. Soil loss through wind and water erosion is a serious challenge. Since independence a nationwide campaign to prevent erosion e.g. by promoting reforestation has been underway. Generally moderate, the climate is characterized by stable temperatures with extreme aridity. February is the coolest month, with temperatures in the low 70s f low 20s c. August and September are the hottest and wettest months, with temperatures in the low 80s f high 20s c. The islands are profoundly affected by the two-season nature of the intertropical convergence zone itch, a belt of converging trade winds and rising air that encircles Earth near the equator. Winter winds from Europe are cool and dry, but in the summer months the itch front moves to the north and the Guinea current brings more heat and moisture, which can result in increased precipitation, especially in the higher elevations of the more mountainous islands. Precipitation levels are a function of how far north the itch progresses and how much tropical moisture it carries and are, as a result, unpredictable. Years may go by with little or no precipitation. The clashing fronts near Cabo Verde generate hurricanes that travel westward across the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean and the eastern coast of the United States. On most of the larger islands, elevations are great enough to generate precipitation on the windward slopes. Grasses and some pine plantations are found in these relatively moist locations. The leeward slopes, however, exhibit a characteristic rain shadow effect that produces desert conditions, and the sparse shrub cover almost disappears. The shrubs remaining in these areas are mostly thorny or bitter, some are toxic. Agriculture is practiced either in a limited way at high elevations or by intense traversing of the sharp cut valleys. Some xerophilus desert type plants are found rooted in the brackish subsoil of Mayo, Sal, and Boa Vista. The scarcity of water limits the number of land turtles in the archipelago, but two species of sea turtles lay their eggs on the sandy shores of the uninhabited islets. There are many geckos and lizards and several species of skinks, including a rare and endangered giant skink. There are a number of species of butterflies, but none is endemic, and all the species are of African origin. There are more than 100 known species of birds, of which only a portion, including four species of petrels and two of shorewaters, breed regularly.
Other bird species include the greater flamingo, the frigate bird and the buzzard both nearly extinct, the Egyptian vulture, the Cape Verde Islands kite, and the red-billed tropic bird. Several other birds are represented by local species of which the kingfisher is among the most conspicuous. The only truly endemic species, however, are the cane warbler and the Rosso lark, which is restricted to Rosso, one of the smallest uninhabited islets. The rest of the birds are overseas migrants. Remarkably, gulls and terns do not breed on the islands. Mammals of Cabo Verde include the feral goats found on Fogo, the descendants of domestic goats that were taken to the islands. The Iceland's rodent population, probably originated with rodents carried on early ships. Monkeys, introduced from the African continent, are also present on the islands. The long-eared bat is the only indigenous mammal. The overwhelming majority of the population of Cabo Verde is of mixed European and African descent, and is often referred to as Mestizo or Crilo. There is also an African minority, which includes the Fulani Fulb, the Balanti, and the Mandiaco peoples. A small population of European origin includes those of Portuguese descent, especially from the Algarve, a historical province, and the Azores Islands, as well as those of Italian, French, and English descent. There is also a substantial number that traces its roots to Sephardic Jews who were expelled from the Iberian Peninsula in the 15th and 16th centuries during the Inquisition, and were among the Iceland's early settlers or to other groups of Jews mainly tradesmen who arrived in the 19th century from Morocco. Although Portuguese is the official language and is used in formal situations, Crilo, one of the oldest of the Portuguese Creole languages, is by far the most widely spoken. The different dialects of Crilo that exist on the islands may be broadly divided into Sotavento and Barlavento groups. There has been a struggle to legitimate and regularize Crilo orthography in a dictionary and in schools.